Welcome to another Caducation TV AutoCAD Quick Tip. We're going to be looking at 3D Basics in AutoCAD 2011. Okay, so let's have a look at these 3D Basics in AutoCAD 2011. Now what we're going to look at here is generating a 3D model, a very basic conceptual model of a building without its roof. Now what I've got here, I've got some polylines, as you can see, they're closed polylines there. And these yellow ones here are closed polylines for door openings. We'll look at that in a moment. Now what I'm going to do is show you up here on the quick access toolbar that we're using the 3D Basics workspace. It's a workspace developed in AutoCAD 2011 to allow you to make the easy transition from a 2D drawing to a 3D model. So let's have a look at that now. I'm in the 3D basics, so really what I need to do is start working in 3D straight away. Let's do that. Let's go over here to the navigation bar. We'll click on Orbit right here. Hold down the left hand mouse button and just move the mouse upwards and to the right. And as you can see, we've gone into 3D there. I'll right click now and exit the orbit and there's my polylines and as you can see I've got X, Y and Z now. Can you see that? Z being the third dimension. Now I'm going to utilize my layer control here and switch off the layer that my doors are drawn on. So I go to the layer panel here, that's on the home tab you'll notice. So layer panel, click on the layer fly out there and I'm going to click just on walls there first of all to make it the current drafting layer. When you create a 3D object, it goes onto the current drafting layer, and we're doing our walls. And then what I'm going to do here is go to doors, click on the sun symbol there, and that freezes the doors layer for the moment. So what we've done there is made sure that all we can see is our walls. Now we're going to need to convert these walls into what they call a region. Now the region command, if you look on the draw panel here, isn't there. I've got arcs and I've got circles. And if I click on the flyouts here, I've got polygon, rectangle, circle, ellipse. And if I click on the line one there, there's no actual region there at all. So what I've got to do is actually create a region. Well, that's real easy. All I do is type region. I can type the command after all. I can still use the keyboard. And we're going to select the objects to make into regions. These must be closed polylines. So one and two like that. And enter to finish. They have to be closed polylines to make sure that you've got two loops extracted and two regions created, as you can see down here on the command line right here. So we've now got two regions, one, two, and if I hover over them, as you can see, they're regions. We can now start utilizing some of the tools on the 3D Basics workspace ribbon here on the edit panel. I'm going to subtract one region from another. So I want to subtract the inner region here from the outer region, leaving just the walls as a region. So I use subtract here on the edit panel. I click like so and select the objects that I want to subtract from. Read your command line there. It says subtract from. You will have noticed the little bubble menu appear there in the top right corner too. Those are little tips and tricks that come up sometimes when you click on certain commands. So I'm going to subtract from this one here and I press enter to confirm. Then it says select solid surfaces and regions to subtract on the command line. So I select this one. I want to subtract this one from the outer one. And then I press enter again. Now it looks the same, but when I hover over it, it's all one region, just with the area of the walls. This is open space now in the middle. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thaw out my doors layer. So I go up to the layers panel, click there, click on the fly out, click on the snowflake, and then click in the drawing area. You can see my doors have appeared. Now, they're not regions, you'll notice. Now, this is really clever stuff. I'm going to extrude my walls here to make them a certain height, okay? So I go to extrude here on the create panel, click on extrude, and I select my region here like so. I click on there and I right click to confirm and enter on the shortcut menu or I can just press the enter key. And as you can see, when I move up or down now, I can extrude that particular region to make it into a 3D solid. 
You'll notice you get a value box there on the dynamic input. I'm working in metric millimetres. I want my walls to be two and a half metres high. So in there I'm going to put 2,500 millimetres. Press enter and that's extruded that for me. So that is now two and a half metres high. But when I hover over it, it's now a 3D solid. You'll notice that the region that was originally there has disappeared. That is because of the del obj variable like that, delete object variable. If I press enter there, default value is 3. That means that all original defining geometry is deleted when I create a 3D object. That del obj variable is very, very useful like that. I always leave it at 3. I'm just going to hit escape there to deselect it. Again, look it up in the AutoCAD help. Check out all the other settings that you can use if you want to change it. Now, I haven't converted those doors there into regions, have I? I'm just going to use a 3D orbit there for a second, just to make them a little bit clearer for you, and then right-click and exit the 3D orbit. Now, let's see whether I can extrude polylines. If I go to Extrude here again on the Create panel and select one, just make sure you get the polylines that make up the doors, like so. So there's four of them there. Right click to confirm and enter. I can extrude polylines as well. They don't have to be regions. Clever stuff in AutoCAD 2011. So I go upwards again. This time I want the doors to be 2,000 millimeters high, two meters. Press enter, like so. And they extrude upwards. Notice they've gone onto the green walls layer because it's the current drafting layer. I'll just put those back on to that doors layer so that they stand out. There's a reason for that, you'll see why in a moment. So they're back on our doors layer. So now I've got, just hit escape there to deselect, I've got one 3D solid making up the walls and four 3D solids making up the doors. My delete object variable is set to three, so any defining geometry will disappear. Okay, now, Watch what happens. I go to subtract again. I want to subtract from the walls like so. So I select that and press enter. I then select the doors one and two and three and four. And I press enter again. The doors disappear because they were the original defining geometry. But I've now got, you'll notice, look, a 3D building, albeit a conceptual design ready for doors and windows. Right click and exit that, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Now, we're in a 2D wireframe view at the moment. If I go to the Layers panel here and go from 2D wireframe to something like, let's say, Conceptual, let's go to Conceptual as a visual style. Makes it stand out one hell of a lot more, doesn't it? The one I really like is X-Ray, because that shows me the inner detail, but also shades the outer detail. So if I do an orbit with that one, I can see everything I need to see, like so. Now you can see that I've taken a few minutes to go from a 2D drawing to a 3D model using the 3D Basics workspace and all these basic 3D tools in AutoCAD 2011. It's real easy to do. Don't be afraid of it. Go for it. Have a go with the 3D Basics. See how you get on. Thank you for watching another Caducation TV AutoCAD Quick Tip. You've been watching Caducation TV and thank you for your viewing time.